Hey guys, um, so once again, I am Jessica and I am the face of Roundtown Candle Co. Um, so this is only my second video and I'm a little bit bummed that I haven't um, recorded another one before now, but uh, it is busy season for candle makers and um, I just launched September 9th and it is November 2nd. Uh, I am up super late, which explains my pajamas and no makeup, um, because I am working feverishly to get my holiday candles ready for launch. Um, so anyways, I wanted to take a break and get on here. Um, this probably won't be like a great video. I'm definitely not going to edit it. I don't have time for that, but it's raw. It's real. So this is what you're going to get. Um, so I mentioned in my first video about the headaches I would get from candles. Um, love candles. I love just the way they can make a room look so beautiful. Just the ambiance, obviously the scent. I just think it's the most perfect way to cozy up a room. Um, but I have literally this cabinet that is full of of candles. Some have never been burned. Um, some of them are like half, some of them a quarter. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. All these candles that were gifted to me or that I bought, um, that I would start to burn. And sometimes I couldn't even get to where it was melted all the way across. And like, I would have to blow them out because it was just overwhelming, like just overwhelming, um, headache, just, ugh, didn't feel good. So anyway, so I have this whole cabinet full of these candles um, that I just, they're just there. They've been there forever. So, you know, um, I bought a candle kit, you know, one of those like try it yourself. Here's, you know, the jar, the wax, the wicks, the whole deal. Um, so I made this candle and it was like, <laughs> it was laughable, you guys. Um it didn't smell bad. It burnt terribly. Um, you definitely can't buy those kits and then just be like, mm, I'm a candle maker. Um, but it was so cool because I made it, I lit the candle, I burnt the whole thing and like, it didn't bother me at all. And I didn't even realize it at first. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just burnt this candle and you know, um, I don't feel like crap. So anyways, that sparked the whole interest. So I started doing all kinds of research on, um, you know, soy wax, um, these cotton wicks, clean fragrances, you know, the whole deal. Um, it's actually like a science to it uh, because there's different combinations. You have to have um, the right wick, the right amount of fragrance oil. You know, people would think like, oh, if you just pour in, you know, um, you know, 10% fragrance oil, it's going to be a strong smell, but that's actually not true. Um, you can actually drown out the wick, um, burn all the scent off right away. And it's like, I don't know, that's getting technical. That's for another video. But the point is, there's really a lot that goes into getting the right combination for a good candle. Um, hence like the eight months of testing that I did before I even started. Um, so anyways, but I was like super amazed and I'm like, I really like this is awesome. So I go through and I do all this testing and you know, picking the right scents and, and all this. And every time I'm testing these candles, like I feel so good and this is just like mind blown. So anyways, um, where we are today is um, I have had like an overwhelming number of people who have purchased my candles, who have um, sent emails, talked to me in person, sent text messages, um, saying like, oh my gosh, you know, this is insane. Um, I don't have headaches. Well, here's what's even more insane. I never even knew um, that this was like actually a thing. Like I didn't tell anybody that, you know, I feel like crap when I burn a candle. I just, I don't know. I guess I thought it was me. I know that sounds weird. Um, but like I had a woman reach out and she was like, 
I literally haven't burnt a candle in my house in almost 30 years because the headaches were so bad and like my throat would get sore. And she said that she came across my candles and wanted to try them and she was blown away that she can burn candles now. You guys, I'm not saving lives, but this is pretty cool. Um, I had another lady tell me that like when she would go to someone's house, if they had a candle burning, like she would have to ask them to put it out because it was just too much for her. And I think that's the thing sometimes. I think sometimes these candles get so overwhelming. They're so overpowering. They just completely take over and it you just drowned in it. Um, and that's what I super love about these candles is, I mean, you can still smell them. They still have a good smell, but it's not like the kind of smell that just absolutely punches you right in the face, you know? You don't have this like just crazy, just overwhelming, that whole deal. So, um, yeah, I keep having people tell me this stuff and it is just the coolest. Um, so this brings me to two points I want to make on this particular video. And I'll try not to ramble on too much because um, I really do have a lot of work to do tonight. But anyway, so two points. The first point is the importance of good quality candles. Okay, you guys, I know like you can go to Walmart or Target or anywhere. Um, like there's no candle shortage. You can get a $2 candle that smells great. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But like, I understand that you can get candles anywhere and they smell great and they're beautiful and all the things. Um, but, but what's the quality? Okay. Because the thing I love about soy wax is it is all natural, you guys. It literally comes from the soybean. It supports American farmers. It's a renewable resource. It's like everything good about it. And that's all that it is. There's nothing else in the wax. There's no additives. There's no chemicals. There's nothing. It is just in its natural deal, okay? Um... And the fragrances, you know, there's fragrances, all different types of fragrances, essential oils and different things like that. Um, but what is in them? What is it that's, you know, that can make you burn a candle and just feel so awful? Now, I am not going to sit on here and say, you know, well, those, those, uh, those candles cause cancer. Because I don't know that. I am not a medical researcher. That's not my deal. Um, I don't know. What I know is they make me feel awful. They make a lot of other people now that I know um, feel the same way. So really, whether you're choosing um, a candle from Roundtown Candle Co., which would be awesome, or somewhere else, fine, okay. But like, look at what you're buying look at what you're burning because if it doesn't bother you that's great but it could be bothering somebody else and maybe they're like me and they just didn't speak up about it you know whether you have um babies toddlers pets you know whatever it is um make sure you're burning good quality candles so the second part um and this sounds kind of silly, but the importance of sharing, like I said earlier, this is, um, it's kind of blown me away a little bit about the, the number of people that have reached out to me about, um, the way that candles have made them feel in the past and how they've basically just chosen to no longer burn them. Um, so, you know, and not even really about candles, but it just, it kind of got me thinking, you know. I never really said anything to anybody like my family didn't even know um, that candles bothered me and then it's funny because it's like why is it that we go through things sometimes and like we just feel that uh, it must just be me like me you know I'll just deal with it when I go to somebody's house they have a candle burning or whatever I mean it's just kind of funny how sometimes we just keep things in and we just don't really talk about it but you know when you share stuff big or small 
um, you know, first of all, you're going to find somebody who um, is the same as you. And then second of all, you know, you can find somebody who maybe has a fix. Um, you know, just like I've created a candle that works for me and for now other, a lot of other people that I know, um, you know, there's other products, there's other things like we can work together. You never know when you might be going through something and, and somebody's got a way to, to fix it or make it better. So, um, anyways, that's my rambling for today. Um, I promise you guys, I am going to be posting more videos on here. Um, I really want to get into this because I am in love with this whole thing. Um, I need to work on like time management. I still work full time. I'm um, trying to get through this busy season, trying to just like figure out a method, um, figure out what's going to go on in the future because this is kind of getting pretty big. So, um, but anyways, I want to do like a lot more videos, um, just sharing, talking about the candles, talking about business, um, life, you know, whatever. So you guys are amazing and I'm grateful for the support. Um, try a candle. If you haven't tried a candle, try one of my candles. Um, especially if you suffer from like headaches or feeling yucky or, you know, just not really typically a fan of, of candles. Um, try one of them. I would be so happy about it. So once again, um, they're pretty natural. I don't even color them. I don't even color the labels. Um, my reason for that, uh, one time I smelled this candle that smelled amazing. Oh my gosh. It smelled so good. It was like dark purple, like bold purple. Um, which matches nothing in my house, like not my style at all. And the candle smelled awesome, but um, yeah, like it just wasn't gonna fit in at all. So I didn't buy it. So I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna to create a candle, you know, that's a color that you're like, ugh, you know, um, or a label that's like real, the same thing, like a color design or whatever. So I try to keep it simple that way no matter whether you decorate, you know, farmhouse, modern, I don't know, goth, whatever, it doesn't matter. No matter how you decorate, um, should be able to fit in and uh, work with what you got going on. So anyways, all right, you guys, well, it's been fun. I better get to work. I hope you all have a great evening and I'll talk to you soon.